Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be doing a new video. Sorry that I haven't done any videos over the past few days. I've been away, the internet was absolutely terrible there. It was really hard to get that video out on The Flash a few days ago. So I had to wait, I'm back home now, so this video is going up tonight. It is currently the 2nd of August, so... I'm back, I can make videos, so no worries about that. Leave any video suggestions you have in the comments down below. Today we're going to be talking about this new casting for Supergirl, this new villain. We're going to be talking a bit about the character, a bit about the casting. And also, we're going to talk about when to expect that next trailer, or next promo, for Supergirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, we're going to talk about some of the rumours and then we'll get on to the two things that I talked about just at the start. So basically, there have been some rumours going around and it comes from very unreliable sources. So I just thought I would point it out in this video because I haven't mentioned it before. So there was a rumour that Linda Carter is going to be returning and that is coming from We Got This Covered, as you know in the past if you watch these videos. They tend to make a lot of stuff up. They don't double check their sources or anything like that. They hear from like one person or maybe they just make it up, you know, for more traffic, for more views. And they said recently that Linda Carter is going to be in crisis. We've had no confirmation of that, so don't get your hopes up too high about that. And yeah, so that was one rumor that was going around that has not been confirmed. So yeah. I thought I would mention that before we get into this, okay. So, the main thing, the main topic of today's video is this casting. This comes from Variety, so a new actor is going to be coming to the show, to Supergirl, and this actor is Jennifer Garcia, and she has been cast in a guest starring role in the season 5 premiere, so episode 1 of Supergirl. And so Variety found out that she is playing a supervillain known as Midnight, and so she's described as the physical manifestation of darkness. Midnight is a murderous villain released from an otherworldly prison to enact revenge against the person who put her there. And so Jennifer Garcia was once on Lucifer, this is included in the report, she was on Supernatural, so she's appeared in a lot of these shows, but one interesting thing is, she actually appeared in Arrow and The Flash as different characters in multiple times. So she appeared in the pilot episode of The Flash once, and then in 2013 she appeared in The Scientist and Three Ghosts, so that was Barry's episode, and then she actually reappeared three times in 2014 in CM Red, Streets of Fire, and Unthinkable as different officers so she's essentially been you know in the background of a lot of these shows but now she is a full-on villain she's been properly cast in the show as a guest star rather than just you know not an extra but someone in the background so she's not going to be playing those characters no need to theorize about you know multiverse or anything like that because she was just playing a background character but now she's playing a bigger character and so she is known as Midnight, and so this is a character from the comics. I believe this version of Midnight we're talking about is the one from the Superwoman comics. She was only introduced in 2017, and then she goes on to die, actually, in by the time we get to 2018. But it makes sense, because it's heavily linked to, you know, everything that's going on with Supergirl this season, because it's about computers, and her name in the comics is actually Midnight, but instead of eyes, she has two ones because, you know, binary or whatever, you know, programming. So, stuff like that. That is why her name is like that, but sometimes she's written as just Midnight, like it sounds. And so, because she is the physical manifestation of darkness, this is a very similar thing to what she was like in the comics. And in the comics, she has the powers of flight, she has dimension travel, energy hole generation, teleportation, and energy projection. So I'm guessing it is this, because in the comics, in the Superwoman comics, she is created by Lena Luthor. And who do we have on the show? Lena Luthor. And who's going slightly bad this season? Lena Luthor. And what is she focusing on? Gadgets and technology and how is Midnight created via computer code in the comics by Lena Luthor. So I think it's going to have something to do with Lena and her actually bringing her into the show and so she's unintentionally brought to life by Superwoman 
Midnight was programmed to free Lena from her dimensional prison. So, you know, she was in prison. She's not in prison on the TV show. So there will be obviously a twist to do with the show and to sort of center around how the stories go in this season with Lena and Kara, obviously. She is created out of code. And so she's able to come into the real world, into, you know, a non-virtual world. And so she seeks the power to be free from Lena's control in the comics and I'm talking about. So I think this is really, really great. The fact that you'll get in a character from the Superwoman comics, obviously it's not Supergirl, but it's linked to a Supergirl character, that being Lena Luthor, who is obviously focusing on gadgets and stuff this season. So I'm guessing there is going to be a link towards the comics. I don't know if they're creating a whole new version of her, like a completely different version, because it does seem a bit crazy that they can create something artificial and make it, you know, look entirely real. And so, she is known as a murderous villain, but she's definitely playing this character Midnight, but we don't know if it's like the comic version or if it's completely different, like I said before. So this, she is a murderous villain, and she's from an otherworldly prison, which obviously links to the prison that Lena is in the comics, maybe it's similar to that. But this otherworldly prison, obviously the first thing that comes to mind is Fort Raz. And I think that is a high possibility, although it was sent to space, you know, she could have been on Earth this whole time. And so she is finally awoken, say perhaps, and she is trying to enact revenge against the person who put her there, who put everyone in Fort Ross, that being Kara's mum. So I'm guessing it's going to be a rather similar sort of storyline to what we had in season one right at the start with all the villains escaping from Fort Ross. Maybe she has just awoken and she's looking for, you know, one of the family members when she eventually finds out that, say, Kara's mom is not on the earth and maybe she thinks she's dead, although we know she's not dead, she's on Argo City, but they're not going to go there. So we've seen behind the scenes photos of her. We had no idea who she was. At first, we sort of presumed she might be Andrea Rojas, the new character that was cast, but now finding out who she is playing, she has a superhero suit, she has a supervillain suit, and so these photos are coming from Canada Grass, she has a really cool suit, it's not that similar to her comic book, you know, costume, but it's a really cool suit, and I think they're going to do a lot of CGI work sort of around the suit, because it does look like that's probably going to end up, you know, being how she looks, like maybe she has some sort of dark energy emitting off of her because she is the physical manifestation of darkness as the description from Variety says. So yeah, I'm expecting stuff to do with that and I'm really looking forward to this. She is obviously just an episodic villain, she's just going to appear for a guest starring co-role and this is just going to be in episode 1, maybe she carries on to episode 2, I don't know, but anyway, she looks really cool, I'm looking forward to this. And I just think it's kind of funny and really cool for the actress that she has gone from these sort of very background type roles on The Flash and Arrow and now she's finally in a big role on Supergirl. Very exciting stuff. And so moving on to the last thing I wanted to talk about in this video. So when will we expect the first look footage, you know, that is not from Comic Con? When will we expect the next promo or the next trailer? So if we look back and track past back to you know, previous years, because they pretty much premiere every time the same year, around, you know, the second week in October, around then. So, you can expect the next trailer, the next footage, to come out in around the first week, heading on to the second week of September. So, last year it was September 11th, where we got our next trailer, the American Alien trailer for season four. And so I would presume it would be the same thing this year with it coming out about the same time. So I would say, you know, it's the 2nd of August now. I would say wait for about a month from now until the start of September and then sort of be on the lookout, be ready for our first look footage that is not from Comic-Con. However, most years, they release these DCTV sort of team up trailers where they include all the other shows. So maybe we will get our first look like we have in previous years, actually before that full trailer. So last year they released this footage, August 29th. So this was our first time seeing it all sort of mashed together. Obviously it's only a few shots, 
but it's new stuff, so it's a lot to get excited about. So, I think also be on the lookout for this, you know, right at the end of August, maybe they'll release it. In the past few years, I've been to Gamescom and they've every time released it at the exact same time, you know, the past few years before then. So, it's pretty much a guarantee, so look out for that, very exciting stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, also for all of you who contributed in getting me to San Diego Comic Con, you guys are going to be entered, I'm going to be sending off the giveaway items that I was able to get from Comic Con in the next few days, so be on the lookout for that, I think I'll live stream and talk about who wins probably very soon, so thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.